Hi guys, Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm gonna be speaking about the Facebook Pixel and giving you a tutorial of how you can install the Facebook Pixel in your Wix.com website. Now briefly, just covering why this is important, even if you're not planning on running Facebook campaigns yet, the Facebook Pixel will track your website visitors. So this means you can actually run Facebook campaigns targeted only to people who have visited your website in the past this is warmer traffic and I speak about that a lot on this channel and that's super important because this warmer traffic is a lot more likely to convert for you into sales when you're, when you're running your Facebook ad campaigns. This is a big mistake that a lot of Facebook marketers and entrepreneurs and business owners are not aware of is that when you're running campaigns within the Facebook ads manager, if you're just running campaigns to cold audiences, to cold traffic, to people who don't know about your business yet, then that's not as likely to convert as people who have already visited your site. So you may notice, for example, when you go onto Amazon and you look at a pair of shoes, you go elsewhere on the internet, you go onto Facebook, you go onto Instagram, all of a sudden you're seeing that same pair of shoes being advertised to you. That's because you're being pixel retargeted and you can do that utilizing the Facebook pixel. So the first thing you want to do inside your, your Wix.com website is go up to where it says settings um, and then you want to go down to where it says tracking and analytics. Now, one thing that I will stipulate here is that you do need to have a premium account with Wix in order to connect it to the Facebook pixel and you need to have a domain connected to your Wix.com account as well. Um, now, Wix do give you the opportunity to actually buy a domain, um, but I would always recommend having a look at Namecheap.com because Namecheap have a bunch of cheap names, cheap domain names that you can buy and you may find it cheaper on Namecheap. So I would always recommend comparing the price from namecheap.com to uh, Wix's prices and I'll leave links in the description down below to Namecheap just in case you want to utilize their services. However, when you go into tr uh, tracking and analytics, you want to go to where it says a Facebook pixel and this will show you where you need to implement your Facebook pixel code and you need to retrieve this from Facebook itself. So when you go into Facebook as you would normally log in as, as a normal uh, Facebook user, there's an option for you to create an ad and that will take you to, to the Facebook ads manager and that's where you can create your advertisements, that's where you can create your pixels and do all kinds of really targeted advertisements within Facebook and also you can do advertisements on Instagram as well. So what you want to do is when you're inside of the Facebook ads manager, you want to come over here where it says business tools, click on that and then go to events manager. Now I already have a pixel created within here, but if you don't have a pixel created in here, then you will see an option that will allow you to create a new pixel and you basically just want to go through those options and it will create a pixel for you. And once the, create, once the pixel has been created, you'll see your pixel ID show up here and you want to copy that pixel ID, go back into Facebook and paste it in there and then apply. And as you can see, it's applied to all pages and it is currently enabled. And if you click on these three buttons, you can edit or you can delete your Facebook pixel at any time. So once you have done that and you've installed the Facebook pixel on your website, you then want to make sure that it's actually functioning properly. So you can go to Chrome. And as you can see, I've got this little pixel helper here. I'll leave a link to where you can install the pixel helper. It's a Chrome extension tool that you will see in your Chrome browser and it will basically tell you whether or not the pixel has been installed on your site. So as you can see, it says two. When I come onto my website here, this is my Wix website that I've just put the pixel code on. And if I click on that, then it will show me the, the information about the pixel code that I have just installed on this particular page. And the code is the same code that I've just put into Wix. So you should install the Facebook pixel helper as a way to determine whether or not your pixel has been installed on your Wix website successfully. And when you do set up like different uh, tracking events within your Facebook ads manager, you'll be able to click on this and see what tracking events have been created for this particular page as well. So this Facebook pixel helper will become really helpful. Um, now I'm going to be doing further videos and tutorials on Facebook marketing for Wix, um, how to create your, your conversion campaigns and how to create a, your first campaign within 
Facebook for your Wix website and how to do some lead gen campaigns, how to drive traffic to your e-commerce uh, product pages within Wix. So that's definitely something that you, you're going to want to subscribe for. And if you do have any questions pertaining to Wix and Facebook marketing, then do let me know in the comment section down, down below and I'll do my best to answer those. Um, I also have the formula, which is the free guide to generating leads and sales online for your business. That's going to help you to drive quality traffic to your website that's most likely to convert for you into tangible leads and sales for your business. So make sure you go and grab yourself a copy of that so you can understand how the internet works a little bit better and you can actually push sales back to your Wix.com website. You spend all this time creating probably an incredible Wix website. Now you want to start driving sales and results to it. So make sure you go and grab your, your free copy um, of that formula. Again, link, link will be in the description. I'll also leave a link somewhere here on this screen. But if you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.